Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Ash. It's me, it's Cooking with Ash. That's right, it's that time again. Today is a bit of a special episode though because we're not cooking a followed recipe. Basically, put it simply, I'm gonna do this little side project called Gazins. For anyone that doesn't know what a Gazin is, there would be a key ingredient, like chicken, sausage, pasta, and then it would literally be a rummage around the house, collect everything that I can, anything and everything, and then basically just put it in, and someone asked me, what, what, what is this, it's really nice, and I said, I don't know. Everything goes in, didn't it? I literally put everything in, so everything goes in, goes in. That's, that's where it stemmed from. So, gazins are my dishes that I create randomly out of just random stuff. Literally, I rummage through here, I rummage in the freezer, and I've got some stuff out. Um, and I've literally, I've gathered it here, right here. Uh, and it is just random. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And it's literally, let's just put it all together and basically see what happens and see what we can create. I'm going to bring you down. So, the main ingredient here is obviously going to be chicken. The second main ingredient is going to be leftover chorizo from before. Okay, I might as well use it. I've also got a red chilli that I'm going to chuck in there. Okay, just the one. I've got two tins of uh, chopped tomatoes that I'm going to chuck in there. <laughs> I pulled this out of the freezer. Um, should be able to read it. It's a chicken, chicken and chorizo. Uh, tort tortellinis, tortinis, tort tortelloni, 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 I've got some garlic, I've got a couple of onions, I've got some more fusilli, right, so just bulk it out a bit, okay, I've got double cream, right here, I've also got cumin, chilli flakes, season all, I've got Cajun, I've got turmeric, I've got five spice, I've got cinnamon, bay, oh, bay leaves, thyme, oregano, basil, ginger, curry powder, parsley, fennel seeds, um, salt pepper obviously, a little bit of oil, um, what's that, mixed herbs, so basically I'm just going to chuck all this together and uh, yeah, make a basically a chicken chorizo gazin with some things and some stuff. Okay guys, so I've got a little bit of stuff prepared. I've got my kettle boiling, I've got my pans out, I've got my tins open, I've got my herbs out that I've decided to use. Obviously not gonna use all of them. And yes, it's called a gazin, but it's not literally everything goes in, it's anything goes in. So I've picked the seasonings that I want. And basically, we're going to get cracking. The first thing that we are going to do is I'm going to bring you down. As you can see, I've got these tins open. I've got a big pan. I'm going to put these tins in the big pan. That's right. It's the first thing we do because this is going to take the longest time out of the whole thing. So let's season everything. So, of course, pepper. Plenty of pepper. Don't be shy. One of my favourite sayings, that one, if you see any of my Snapchats. Do not be shy with the pepper. Salt, once again, you can be a little bit shy with salt. I know some people aren't, uh, you know, down with salt as such. But you want some in there, I'd say, most definitely. I'm going to chuck in about two whole bay leaves. Okay? Bay leaves, yeah? try and get whole ones these are dry um, because I don't want little bits of bay leaves in there that I ain't gonna be able to get out okay that do two whole bay leaves okay I'm also gonna go for oregano because chicken and oregano and tomatoes go really really well together All right, let's get this off because I want to see how much I'm actually using you want about a decent kind of teaspoon size, around, uh, I'd say 15 grams if you're measuring, I'm not too sure, on the, on the weight aspect of it. I'm also gonna be using some basil. Let's go and get this little 
piddly thing off. There we go. Just a bit of basil, not too much on that one. Oregano's nice flavour. Fennel seeds. Right, I'm going to move this aside quick. Take some of your fennel seeds. Because I haven't opened these ones yet. Okay. Mmm. Oh, they smell nice. I'm going to tip some out on there. About this much. Tiny, tiny amount. Okay. Bosh. Chop these up, okay? Because where they are dry herbs, they are going to be... Let's see if I can crush them. Does that help? Because they're going everywhere. They're just flying all over the place because they're dry. Ah, stay on the ball. <laughs> Mmm, fennel smells good, it's nice. Kind of gives it an aniseedy flavour, and I like aniseed. <laughs> okay, and did I have one more thing? I did think, I think, I think I did. A bit of rosemary. Because chicken and rosemary always goes well. Okay. Not too much, I'm not overly fast about it. They're just, they're just to help season this. Okay, I'll get that on the heat. High heat, high heat. Nice high heat. Clean your side, because we're gonna go for chopping some garlic and chopping some onions. Okay, bosh, wow. Jesus Christ. Have you ever seen one this big before? There's one on its own. Jesus, okay. Crush, peel, get the rubbish out of the way. Got one on the rubbish. Go, 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 go. Okay. Top that thing, because we don't want that nasty ass hard bit. Tough. Roughly chop. Okay. I'm only going to use this one actually because it's quite a big uh, piece of. Garlic. Grab some of this quick because I've got some chili salt right here. And I'm gonna just add a dash of chili salt, get those flakes in there. Get those chunks, these are big chunks of salt these are. You want that. I do mate, lovely, lovely. That's plenty right there. Now basically, now you've finally chopped this and you've added some salt and some chili flakes. I'm just gonna grind this stuff together, okay? Use the blade of your knife, fingers on the thick end of your knife, tip down, okay? You are literally grinding it towards you, okay? Now you're crushing that salt into the garlic, and the garlic's flavors are infusing with that salt. And the salt's also causing the juices to come out of that garlic really nicely. This is how you should always, yes, it takes a little bit more time than getting a fucking garlic crusher, but so what? Okay, wash in a frying pan. Okay, next, on it. I'm going two onions, top and tail. If you've seen me do this before, you know what I'm doing. Okay, don't take the whole root off, just some of the root. Cut down the middle. Peel off the first two layers of skin. You don't want to keep them. Okay, so once you've uh, peeled your onions, we're not gonna dice these, these are gonna be sliced. So, as thick or as thin as you like. Okay, two red onion ears sliced, not diced, because we want some chunk in that. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roughly chop this chorizo into chunks, small, small chunks. Kind of nice little tiny little bit, maybe yeah, about that size. You see, you see how big that is? Yeah.
I don't expect anyone to follow this recipe. It is a gazin after all. But we're gonna chop this chili, we're gonna get all the seeds out, we're gonna dice this up. Okay guys, so turn your sauce down to a simmer once it starts to boil, because you don't want to burn it, you want to simmer it down, okay? Don't boil it over, simmer it down, let it reduce naturally by itself, okay? Meanwhile, chop your chilies nice and finely. Chili, bish bash bosh. Okay, now, Woo. wash your hands because chili fingers in your eyes, in your face, on your wife, um, your husband. I don't recommend it because I've done it. Okay, there is nothing worse than going to the toilet after having chilies on your hands and then you're stinging all day. Okay guys, clean board, chicken time. It is time to chop some chicken. That's what we're gonna do next. First of all, let me show you what I've got in this frying pan. Okay, so we've got our onions, we've got a chorizo, got a chili, got a garlic, got our salt with the chili flakes. Okay, add an extra flavor and all that jazz. Now, we're gonna add some chili oil. I've literally got a tiny amount of chili oil left, so I might as well use it. You can use regular oil, it's not an issue. I'm gonna save these chilies that are in here though, and I'm gonna use them another time. Get the heat on on your frying pan. Make sure you stir your sauce occasionally. It's really bubbly, I don't want it bubbling that much. Turn it down once again. Okay, it's chicken time. Now, this is a big breast. Um, my wife has two of those. I'm going to butterfly this breast. So I'm going to cut it down the middle, fold it over, and then slice it into my chunks or slices, whatever I'm going to do. I haven't decided yet. Probably chunks. I like chunks. Okay, here we go. Oh, that goes through so nicely. See? Okay, got my chicken chunks, last of the chicken chunks going in the frying pan. Get rid of your board, don't need it no more. Be gone, Swan. Wash your hands because you've been touching raw chicken. Okay, so we've only got a few ingredients left to get inside of this gazin. Um, I've got the double cream, I've got some chicken stock, I'm going to chuck that in right now. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the chicken, the onions, the chorizo, the garlic, the chili flakes, the fresh chili, the chili oil. Okay, chicken and chorizo mix right there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get pasta on to cooking, okay? See that? Oh my god, did you see that? Did you actually see that? Oh no, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You're not ready to go in there just yet. No. Okay, now guys, I've got rid of some of that juice and I put it in here for the flavor. The flavor is intense. Um, this is getting 
a bit more colour now, which is lovely. That's what, oh, that's what I wanted. I wanted a bit more colour, a bit more caramelisation. The sauce is reducing not quite as much as I wanted it to. It's still quite chunky. I wanted those tomatoes to kind of break down uh, into a sauce. I guess it's not too much of a problem. It's still going to work with what I'm going to do. This pasta's cooking slowly and nicely. Okay, what I'm going to do now, because this is basically cooked, bosh. Bring this over here now. Oh my god, it's bubbling! Ah! Okay, so I need to turn that one down. Turn that one off. Turn that one up. Take it off for a second, because it is very hot. Let's give this sauce a taste. See where I am sitting with it. Okay. Get my palate ready. Don't quite know how to describe it, but it's nice. Okay, back on the heat. Now we're gonna add some cream, boy. Just a splash, literally just gonna splash it in, see where we're going with it. What kind of colour am I getting from this? Creamy. Now, taste again. See where we at. Wow. That is lovely. Okay, let that reduce a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna take these bay leaves out now. They've done their job. Find the other one. There you are, I see ya. Now this is all good. This is how easy home cooking can be, okay guys? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn you back over here because I'm gonna have a little bit of face-to-face -face time. And this really is how easy home cooking is, you know? Literally just grab random stuff out of the cupboards, put it together. You know, go out and invest in a herb rack that come mm. with all the herbs and spices, okay? Go get your cumin, go get your curry powder, go get your tins of tomatoes. Right, it takes time, yes, yeah, you're gonna sit here for 45 minutes stirring. But the outcome, the, the joy of doing it, the satisfaction of tasting that food that you created, it doesn't matter if, if, you know, it's random like this is. This is completely random. Who would have thought? You know, mixing tins of tomato with cream. Has anyone ever thought about doing that? Probably, yes. Um, you know, but making a pasta dish out of it with two different types of pastas stuffed to tortellini, tortelloni, to pasta, fusilli, and some sauce, random sauce that I've just created. You know, do you know, actually, actually, do you know what's missing? Do you know what could be great for this? Bacon. I need some bacon in there, that would be bloody awesome. Bacon. Oh, I'm not cooking bacon now, I'm nearly finished. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to test this pasta, see where we're sitting with that. Not yet. Actually, I can get away with it. Okay, so I'm going to drain. No, actually. We're gonna get this, chuck it in with that other pasta. 
Okay guys, so I'm back. I've got myself a baguette, right? The pasta's cooked, I'm gonna drain it. Do you know what else I'm gonna do? Bosh. Yeah, I made a mess. I'm gonna quickly stir this. Get that heat going through it, get that pasta oh, coated with sauce. I'm dropping it everywhere, that's bound to happen. I'm a messy pup. Spread some butter all over this bad boy. Oh no, I dropped some. No, oh, I want my life. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I mean, look at it. Doesn't that just look great? Let's get some of this on the plate. Without making a mess, yeah? Some left over. Well, happy about that. Okay, guys, so there you have it. This is the chicken and chorizo gazin with the tortelloni, tortellini, chicken chorizo parcel pasta things. Okay, it's fucking don't know what to name it, but yeah, chicken chorizo gazin, guys. It's that simple to cook something at home for the whole family. Bosh, bish bash bosh, get in. And of course, it's been great, it's been a pleasure. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, that little bell in the corner up there. You know what I'm talking about. You hear it on all the YouTube videos. You know what to do, so do it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time. And of course, as always, see you next Tuesday.